Good afternoon, beloved brothers and sisters. <coughs> yeah, I tell you, never did I expect to experience what I'm experiencing right now. But several people told me that this is, this is a blessing from God. Not yet seen fully, but it's a blessing, and I accept it as such. I've told, told the Lord he makes no mistakes, and so I accept it, and I thank him for it. Yeah, my right hip is broken. I fell in a very unexpected way in my bedroom. It was almost like somebody pushed me on the ground. But whatever that it will be, I know when Jesus was hanging on the cross, the devil thought this was his biggest victory. It was the, the greatest downfall for him. That was the death sentence for Satan. And so I know God will work this together for something good, and I'm looking forward to it because we want to see revival worldwide. And, uh, and so I am I'm very much comforted in my heart. <clears throat> and uh, I thank all the lovely brothers and sisters in so many ways. You have supported me, you have uh, comforted me, you have prayed for me, you have given me advice and sent me wonderful, encouraging scriptures. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, you know, in situations like this, we realize who, are, who is our family, who are our friends. And I'm so, so blessed, so encouraged, so, yeah, in my heart, I want total peace. I know God makes no mistakes. And also, that those that love him, for those that love him, all things work together for good. And that's what I'm standing on. The good is yet to be seen. <clears throat> By God's grace, you know, it's un everything unbelievable. I'm right now in Korsu Hospital, but the operation doesn't seem to be, well, it doesn't seem to be the right place to do it here. So, uh, <laughs> friends, family have arranged for me to fly with a private uh, jet, which is a, a flying, what do you call it? I mean, it, it's like a hospital room, you know, with all the equipment there, with everything, all the help, with two doctors there, even my brother is coming, who is a medical doctor. And uh, they will land, they are already in the air, they will land in about seven hours in Kampala, and uh, will then spend the night in, in one of the near hotels, and tomorrow <coughs> at 1.30 in the afternoon we will fly from here and uh, arrive in Austria in the evening around 7.30, 8 o'clock. And then my, my dear brother Kurt has already arranged with a very good surgeon in Austria in a private hospital. Uh, it is the Sanatorium der Kreuzschwestern um, on the Kettenbrücke with a very beautiful uh, man that is full of faith and encouragement. I talked with him, he said, there's no problem, we'll fix that. So I am trusting that God is sending the very best because I want to accomplish every day that God has on this earth. Also, I am ready to go home any day also because I know we go from glory to glory, from strength to strength. So dear ones, thank you, thank you. I appreciate your prayers. I appreciate your encouragement. I appreciate your faith. Please believe God, all of you, that the best is yet ahead of us and that this whole yeah, worldwide situation will turn out to glorify God, to be a blessing to millions, but also to have joy that the world cannot give and cannot, cannot take. So uh, I will not be able to be reached for quite a few days, but know in the spirit we can reach each other. I pray for you that you say, stay strong in this time and look to Jesus and not to the, to the storm that is around us. Look to Jesus. Because when we look at the storm, we may get afraid. And fear, F-E-A-R, false evidence appearing real, is not our language. We look to Jesus Christ, who is the initiator and finisher of our faith. And faith means F-A-I-T-H, for all I trust Him. So please choose the language of faith where you don't even see yet what is to come, but you still believe it, that the best is yet ahead of us. 
I love you. I thank you for all your support. I, I am so touched by the many prayer uh, responses that I got. I know the Father is surrounding this situation with his care, with his tender loving care, and with his family of God who is standing with me. And I am standing with you. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you now and forever. And the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. And surely, goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives. And we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. And no good thing does he withhold from those whose hearts are upright. And we will follow him, Jesus Christ. We are born to win. Our Father is the King. We are too blessed to be stressed and too anointed to be disappointed. Shalom, shalom, shalom. I love you and I'm thankful that we have been meeting on earth already. And I trust when all our, our callings are finished on earth, we'll meet again in heaven in the glory of the King of Kings. I love you. Mm.